Here's, a, here's an example of a pillow I've already made and you can pretty much create your own character off of an image from a computer especially if you're okay in drawing you don't have to be super great um, but yeah you can make anything these are the pieces you'll need are fleece I like to do half a yard of the main color like this one white and uh, then just small pieces of the smallest that they allow you to get for the other fleece. This one I think was an eighth of a yard that they allowed me to have so I do have extras in this but it's always good for, for scraps for like scarves or whatever you want to make. So first you're going to decide the size of your pillow about what size you want it to be and I'm just looking at it and going eh, about this size. That's the size I want. If you actually want to know the size it is approximately, let's see, 12 inches by 11. 12 by 11, in case you do want to make some about the same size as mine. Um, that's actually on the bigger scale. I wouldn't go bigger than that. So how I decide on my image is once I decided what the size I want my pillow to be I just look up an image online for example this one is monster high so what I did to decide how I was gonna do it I went and I just looked up the logo and I'm gonna copy it but another question I had was whether to make the black outline of the image or to leave the whole pillow just white and the bow hot pink without a lining, the black lining. And I did find some pillows with with and without the lining and I prefer the black lining. So now that I've done that, I just looked up the logo on online and I'm just gonna copy it and trace it. Now that I have the image kind of how I want it to look, I actually decided I don't like this side at all and I can't figure out how to fix it. So I'm just going to cut this side out. I'm just going to go halfway. This fabric was actually scrapped from my other pillow that I made. So or you could just do it on paper and then copy it so that we don't waste fabric. Okay, here I have cut it out and now I'm just going to draw it and copy it and then now that I have this drawn out, flip it and just copy it to the other side. That way they're the same. Okay, now of course it doesn't have to be perfect. Once I decide how I'm going to do it and um, the drawing and everything. You're going to cut two out. Remember when you're cutting out you want to leave at least an, about an inch or half an inch of seam allowance. Okay, so here I did another one for the back part. This is going to be the back of the pillow. Um, and the reason I actually drew the line here in the center is I'm going to align my, my zipper here so it'll be centered. Okay, here I have um, cut my zipper to the length as the lowest part of the pillow. I like to leave my zipper up here because I'm no pro, but this is the easiest way for me to do it. I just start from down here, I sew here, and then I sew all the way up until it reaches um, where I'm going to fold it over, where I'm going to sew across here. Pass that a little bit and then I do the same thing up here. Okay, now I've aligned my zipper, I pinned it, and I'm going to sew it. Here I've sewn it on both sides, on both sides of the zipper. And now I'm just going to cut it. Rear scissors go right in the middle and just cut, start cutting straight up.
now that I have it cut, you just pull the zipper down and I'm going to cut here. You can cut it lower if you want, it doesn't matter. Just remember not to bring the zipper back up. <laughs> okay, now since I only have this half or an eighth of a strip of a black fleece, I'm going to outline it halfway and then sew both edges together that I make. Now you're going to want, if you do something like this, you leave a space in between so I can sew it. So you can sew it and just copy the, the image. Okay, now I have, I copied it twice and this is actually, this is going to be the edge that's going to go around the pillow, the black, so it's going to be the black line of the image. If you've seen Monster High, you should know what I'm talking about. And so you don't need an inside. So that's why I'm cutting this out. I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use this. Here, just make it however big you want. It doesn't really matter. You can always cut it and make it look better um, once it's sewn. So that I'm just doing this just to be safe in case I mess up or it ends up being too small. And do the same on the other one. I've cut the lining out and now you're gonna, this is the inside part so I'm going to flip it so, it can, so it'll go like this and then you just kind of follow the lines as best you can and pin it. Now I've pinned it all the way around and it was a little difficult but you know you just have to kind of try to get it to the shape that as much as possible that and on this side and here I'm just going to cop sew along the line that I drew and on the cheeks from the Monster High character I'm going to make them extra big so you're going to want to go outside of the line just to make sure that the character gets its dimensions once you flip out all the whole pillow inside out so if you are making a character that has ears or cheeks like this or anything protruding you're going to want to make sure it's extra bigger okay now I've added my uh, lining I've already sewn it so I'm going to grab this one and sew it on top of here and leave an opening right here. Okay, now I've now I've drawn out the eyes on paper and the nose, and I'm going to copy that and cut it out. So I'm going to make it grab. You just I'm going to draw the outline. Now I have the outline. So once you have that, just go ahead and cut it out. And then you're going to replicate it and you're going to make two of these. Okay, now I flipped it over and I'm going to copy it. So once I have it cut out, I'm going to cut a rectangle pin this onto it ok 
Okay, and once I have this um, cut out all the way, I'm just gonna sew around here the edge. I have my bow all sewn around. I cut the center piece to create that um, black design on the in the bow. Hold it. And I already made the center piece the same. I cut it out and then I sewed around here on the black. Now I'm going now I'm gonna sew by hand on the edges and I'm make sure that it doesn't go through. Now you can see the difference that it this does, the sewing, the different effects. Here is the let's see. Here is the sewing. You can see it show it has a little lining. And then without sewing, and it's um poofier. So, like I said, you could make the whole pillow like this one, or you can sew it like this and then just stuff it. Either way, it'll, it causes just a different effect, just a different look. It, either way, I'm, it will work just fine. And now that I have all my pieces done together, I'm going to, I'm going to sew it all and show you once it's all finished and how to add the strap at the bottom. Now here is something that I like to do before I sew everything on. On almost any type of material, I always put a little bit of glue right in the center where I'm not going to sew because you don't want the glue on your needle. That will just pretty much ruin it. Now I have my pillow itself. Um, all done and the way I attached this bow was I just did it by hand and I stitched in between these two layers and now um, this is the strap that will attach to the rest of the seat belt and you can actually make that as long as you want it um, it could be shorter it doesn't really matter I doubled it and it is 13 by 3 with seam allowance, 13 by 3 inches. Now I've sewn around here, here, and here, and I left one side open, and now I'm just going to flip it inside out. We're going to flip this inside the bottom edge that we left open, and we're going to stuff this in here. that and then sew across here. Okay, now we're going to flip it over and make a piece for the length, however long you want it, just to wrap around the seat belt. This is about nine inches and this one's three by three. Nine inches by three inches and this one is three inches by three inches which it doesn't have to be exactly that but you do want it to be at least three inches um, since you want it to be wider than the seat belt and the seat belts are I think two inches and we're gonna use I'm gonna use velcro that is three fourths of an inch wide and just cut it the length of the piece that you chose to make now you don't have to use velcro if you don't want to I you could also just um, sew straps onto it so it'll tie around the seat belt but you know everything just make it however you would like whichever you think is best now I'm going to stitch all the way around on this one because this is going to be on the back and I don't care if it looks poofy or whatever and on this piece I'm going to do the same I'm just going to sew all around here okay now this is how I attach my velcro I've already sewn it on this side and now I'm going to stick 
add this one on. And now in the center, I'm going to put some glue. Make sure I don't put all the way on top because I'm going to sew on there. And so I'm just going to go make a line all the way down on the center. And then I don't hit the bottom again because I'm going to sew there. Then I flip it over and I glue it on like that. And now I'm going to sew here. Okay, now that now I've sewn on this side, and so I will open it. And now I'm going to sew around this. And for me, that's the easiest way to attach Velcro. I have also put glue on the center of this one. And it's just easier for me than it is to, to use safety pins. The back, um, you want to make sure that this top part, the Velcro, is on the same side as the one on the bottom that you did. And you're going to want to make sure it's aligned. Now put some glue again and now just sew on that side. Okay, now we're done with the pillowcase of our pillow. And now we're going to make the inside that holds the stuffing. Then I want to grab some scrap fabric and preferably you want it to match the main fabric that you have on the outside. Like this is white, so I'm going to use a light um, piece of scrap fabric. Okay, now I'm going to grab the same piece that I used to make the outline of my pillow. We're going to cut it out and make two of these. Now I have two. One, two. And I'm going to sew around and leave an opening. Now I finished sewing it and everything and we're stuffing it. When you stuff it, make sure you stick the cotton into every um, every corner. So this is my finished pillow. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. And I hope that this also encouraged you to create your own pillows for your bed, to decorate your room, or for the car, whatever.